Hello, Luigi Vamma here again, and for this video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Herobrine plugin, Bring Back the Legend. Uh, as with all the plugins, dev.bucket.org. Herobrine in the search bar, and this one is Herobrine Bring Back the Legend, developed by Steak Sauce. It's nice to see one of these Herobrine plugins back up and running. They've all been a bit um, buggy. Well, anyway, I'm running version 5. Tested this on a 147 server. Build number 2590 of Craft Bucket. Download the jar. Stick it in your plugins folder. Restart your server. Here you go. Here it is. Click that. It's all yours. Now, um, I think I'll go in game, show you what you can do first. Now there's two ways of uh, summoning Herobrine. He does appear randomly though. But you can force him to appear. One is by building the altar. Now, uh, the altar. Gonna need some gold for this. Uh, you need gold blocks, mossy cobble, netherrack, some redstone torches, and a light. Um, where's the bug? There he is. Oh. Eight blocks uh, in a square. Place the mossy cobble underneath. Sorry, in the middle. Underneath the netherrack. Four redstone torches around the netherrack. And then light it. That is the Herobrine altar. To summon him, though, you have to light it twice. So there we go. Lit it twice. He should be wandering around in the world somewhere. The other way of doing it is uh, by a command. HP Force Unleash. Herobrine has already been unleashed because I've just made the altar. And uh, now he will appear randomly uh, near players. He will rearrange chests, place signs, place torches, give messages to players, bury players, suffocate players, send players to the nightmare world. Oh, Harry Bryan's nightmare world. I love this place. I think I might just build a portal here so everybody can come. I don't want HP. Uh, MVTP is part of the multiverse plugin. What's it called? Yeah, allows me to te uh, teleport just straight to the world. This is it. Welcome to Harrow Brian's nightmare world. Oh bugger! Not gonna last long here like this. Now, who doesn't love a giant zombie? I mean, look at him. It's a shame they drop these things. It's basically the end world that's been modified. As you can see, there's fire and netherrack and mossy cobble and bedrock in all the pillars. And mobs. Hundreds and hundreds of mobs. And he will TP you here. And I'm not entirely sure if he does teleport you here, how you get out. So you might be stuck here for some time. Because I'd imagine even if you died, you'll just uh, respawn in this world. So I'd imagine there's maybe a time limit on it also. Uh, and then it'll teleport you back. Or if we just go back to the main world. There we go. I'll show you some of the commands that he's got. I say commands, they're not uh, commands for using Herobrine. They are just ways of forcing the actions that he has. Right. Oh. HB teleport. We'll teleport you to the player. Oh, well, he's not actually wandering around at the minute. Uh, even though I've called him, he's alive. Well, I say he's alive. I've called him, so he's. Uh, how do I explain it? He's not in the world, but he's ready for the world. I suppose is the best way to put it. And then every now and again on 
random intervals, I think, is he'll appear and be alive. And it's only when he is alive that you can actually teleport to him. Anyway, hey, HP help. We'll give you a list of all the commands that are there. Alright, starting at the top. HP appear. That will force him to be alive and appear near a player. All the commands that are here, most of them, you just... Um, HP, the command, and then the player name on the end. So, HP appear near Luigi Vampa. There he is. Hello, mate. I'm going to die. Oh, no. I got lucky there. Uh, HP Berry, and then he'll have a go at burying me. I don't think that's going to work so well on the sand here, though. If you notice the floor underneath it will fall out. Oh, yeah, I'm on the edge. What else we got? HP Place Sign. Then he'll place a sign somewhere near. It's usually behind you. Place the sign by Luigi Vampa, never forget. And there it is. There's a place torch, in which case he'll place a redstone torch behind you. There it is. Play sand. And there was a door. Oh, where's that sound from? Is that the end? No, it's the nether, isn't it? TNT trap. Now, these are the same traps that you find in uh, the temples. There's one there. Now, I've got World Guard, so it disables uh, block damage from TNT. Ooh, what else we got? What else we got? Suffocate. It'll place a couple of blocks in the position that you're standing in. Which, when I'm in an open piece of uh, land like this, it doesn't really matter, because it'll just push me out of it. But if you're stuck in a little uh, one wide, two high corridor somewhere and he does that, well, good luck with that one. What else we got? Suffocate option, possess. Yeah, that, this one always creeps players out. Doesn't last long. There you go. I have been possessed by the Herobrine. It's a bit off Friday night. What else we got? Um, let's have a look. Did I miss anything? Most of these things are configurable within well, the config files. Uh, oh, Pyramid. He does randomly build pyramids all over the place. Uh, HB Pyramid Luigi Vampire. And then he'll have built a pyramid around his name. Oh, there he is. That's a shame. And it's half buried. I'll see if I can just dig it out and show you what he actually built. That's Harry Brian's pyramid that he built. Although I did just break a block, I'll put that back. Sorry, mate, didn't mean to. I think there's a hollow underneath it. Oh, no, it's sand in this. Oh, yeah, Harry Brian's pyramid. Uh, that's pretty much all the actions he's got. You can um, turn these off in the config files. We're going to have a look at those now. I'm not entirely sure there is any permissions with this. I'd imagine they'd default to op. Right, the config file. Um, action chance. This is the chance of... Well, the higher the chance, the more rare the actions are. What is his name? Uh, this will affect your skin, like with all the NPCs. They take the skin of the name that they are given. So if you create an NPC with whatever plugin and give them your own name, you will create the NPC with your skin. So if you want him to have the Herobrine skin, he has to have the Herobrine name. 
Unless, of course, the player's name you give him to has the Herobrine skin anyway. Uh, ignore creative players. Now, while I'm in creative here, if I tell him to appear near Luigi, Her uh, Luigi Vampire is in creative mode. So he ignores creative players. What's he got in his hand? Uh, sure, what 259 is. Does he appear more often at night? How long does he appear for? These are your allowed actions. These are the things that Herobrine will do in the server. I generally delete the steel items one. Because, quite frankly, thieving out your chests is just despicable behaviour. Rearranging the stuff that's in your chest is perfectly acceptable. Though. Which is this one here. Well, he does, you know. You order all your chests out nicely and he comes along, bugs it all up. Uh, allowed blocks. Now, these are the blocks that he can modify. So if you put in, um, I don't know what the ID number for bricks is, but if you put in the brick block, then he's going to start messing with brick blocks that are built by players. So what we've got here is one stone, two and three is grass and dirt, and then 12 is sand, I can think. Sand, I think it is, yeah. Uh, these are the messages he'll give to players. These are the messages he can write on signs. Now these are the worlds he's allowed in. Uh, and then the config uh, version number on the bottom. So there's not a great deal to uh, the config files. I'm sure there must be permissions. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, there we go. Herobrine commands. There's your permission node for uh, using the commands. And as most of them, they default all up. And that's it. Good work, Stake Source. It's nice to have him back. Well, YouTube, have a nice day. I shall chat with you again. See you later.